What's so great about BFD2? Import your own samples. So in that opening audio, you were actually hearing a snare that I sampled myself and imported into BFD2. And if you're looking here on screen, you may be saying, hey, there is no D drum snare in BFD2. And you would be right. That's because I sampled this drum and imported it into BFD2. So let's take a look at the snare here. So here's our D drum snare that I imported into BFD2. First, I recorded me hitting the snare, slice that up, cut it into a sample, imported it into BFD2. Then I took a picture of the drum, edited it down to the necessary size, and imported that as well. So not only can you import samples, you can import pictures as well. That's really cool. We can audition the samples that we import just as we can other drums just by clicking. Now you may not care for the sound of this drum. It's actually only one velocity layer. If I would have imported several velocity layers, it would have definitely sounded more realistic. But let's go down here to import and look how we would import a drum into BFD2. So all you have to do is click import. So here's our sample importer. And look at all of our options here. We have velocity layers. So not only can you import one sample, we can import several samples. Look down here, we can browse and choose a photo. We can name the kit, set the kit piece type. Once you have samples in here, you can move the layer up or down. So if I were to add layer, I'll just click add layers. So now I'm in the folder where my samples reside. And that sample you're actually hearing is only this one sample, 0-16. So if I hit open, there's our sample ready to be imported and used in BFD2. And like I said, not only can you import one sample, but you could import several samples for that kit piece, several different layers. So I'll add another layer here. So we'll scroll down here, grab all these layers, and hit open. Now all of our layers are ready to be imported. And as simple as choosing import, and there we go. Scroll down, and right there, my kit piece. Now not only could you sample drums, percussion, cymbals, toms, things of that sort, you can sample anything. Sample a guitar, sample hand clap, sample snapping, sample a piano or a synth, or something like that. You could even do vocal samples. And I actually have a couple of vocal samples that I imported just to sort of prove the point. So we'll load up the vocal samples. Scroll down here. We have a sample called Yeah here, which is just me saying yeah. We'll load that into our snare spot. Yeah. Alright, we'll go here to our kick drum. And let's load a vocal sample in there as well. So I'll come down to this uh, right here where it says uh. Load that up. Now I still have my DX kick loaded. And the uh and the DX kick are both linked together. So when I trigger one, they both trigger. <coughs> Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so you kind of get the idea. I also have a couple nonsense samples that I recorded as well, just to sort of prove the point. We'll load those up as well. So now let's take a listen to our vocal kit. Okay, so that was pretty silly, admittedly. But I'm just trying to show that you can import any kind of sample into BFD2 and play it as a kit piece. Really cool feature. And as we discussed, not only can we import a kit piece, we can also import a photo. So you can really import anything into BFD2. Just be creative. You can take several different kinds of samples, record them to your DAW, mash them together into one stereo or mono audio track, and import that sample into BFD2. Say, you could take a sample from a song that you recorded, of course, import that into BFD2, and trigger it from one of your kit pieces. Really cool stuff. So what's so great about BFD2? Well, in my opinion, it's the ability to import your own samples, not just one sample, but several velocity layers, make it sound very real, import a realistic photo so you can recognize the piece right off, load all that up into BFD2, and play the kit as you normally would. Very cool stuff. Import your own samples into BFD2. If you have BFD2, definitely try this out. It's a really cool feature. It's one thing that I think makes BFD2 really great. So open up BFD2 and get creative.